Akash, Tilapia, Riyadi, Kwasam International. Ashanti Nana Yo Asanti Maya was your son, Madame Roma. Mama, any Muhon Naha, Naya did you not hear me, but she shall so Yatnasia chair or in Yatnasia chair, Nahima Betnasia chair. And she had a woman in Tasuka crown, Nayaria, Yatua, Yat knowledge, and then so. I was your father, Roma. Yes, to give us a message on behalf of the foundation. Shall we welcome Nana Afia Kobi Prempe. His Royal Majesty Otunfo Osei Tutu II, the Asante Hine. Nana Ama Kunedu Yadom the Third, the Asante Hema, His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana, Dr. Muhammad Baumia, the First Lady of the Republic of Ghana, Mrs. Rebecca Kofordo, the Second Lady, the Chief of Staff, Nana Nom, Ministers of State present, the Diplomatic Corps, dignitaries, all protocols observed. On this momentous occasion of celebrating the Asante Hema, I am pleased to be able to briefly share with you the various social investment courses that His Royal Majesty and the Asante Hema have pushed for Asante Man, for Ghana, and indeed for all of Africa over these years. His Royal Majesty, upon his ascension to the Golden Stool, and with the guidance of the Asante Hema, immediately established the Otunfo Education Fund in a bid to make quality education accessible to all Ghanaians. All Ghanaians. We cannot begin to tell you persons that the Education Fund has produced in and for Ghana's socio-economic sector today. After this establishment, His Royal Majesty expanded the mandates of the education fund and today we have metamorphosed into the Otunfo or say to, to the second foundation the king and the asantehema have mandated this foundation to serve as the asantehene's umbrella development organization to structure and implement all the king's social impact initiatives in the thematic areas of education, of health, of water and sanitation, of culture and heritage, and some special projects. Coming to today's celebration, the theme of our celebration, that is the role of the contemporary Queen Mother, is very appropriate because through the guidance and involvement of the Santa Hema, and Her Royal Highness, Lady Julia Osei-Tutu, our foundation has implemented several initiatives of impact for girls and for children in particular. Please permit me to mention very few of such to you. We have implemented several cultural mentorship programs for our daughters because we never want our daughters to forget their heritage. 
we have also stood and fought maternal mortality because we intend to eradicate this canker in Africa. This very day as we celebrate the Asantehima, the Otum Falls to the Second Foundation is expanding the maternity block at the Menshia Government Hospital. Because the Asantehima states, and she continues to do so emphatically, that no mother should ever bring a child into this world whilst laying on floors or in any deplorable conditions. Because of this, the Queen Mother has spearheaded this uh, development. I think we should clap for her, please. Thank you. Um, please permit me finally to use this great occasion to therefore remind all friends of His Royal Majesty and of their Santa Emma that we cannot advance Ghana alone at the Otum Forsay to the Second Foundation. We call on each of you who call yourselves friends of the Golden Stone to partner us to socially invest in Ghana and Africa and to be able to hand over a first world Africa to our children. This is their Santa Hema's legacy that she hopes to achieve. So thousands of girls and children the opportunity to experience a good life. One kwaso nana makredu yadom the third asante hima. Yen na yetuin kwa asante man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nana our two for osay to two foundation. We are all glad that indeed First Ladies over the years have complemented efforts of government to improve the lives of women and children in Ghana. Supporting and promoting initiatives that improve the economic status of women, the Rebecca Foundation was established in 2017 to improve the lives of women, the lives of Ghanaian, the lives of children. Indeed, we remember, we have in mind, the new mother and baby unit of the Konfonochi Teaching Hospital in Ashanti here. We are so grateful to the First Lady. We adore the First Lady. And indeed, it's gratifying that today, then we are observing the fifth anniversary of Nana Kunenu Yadon, the third as Santa Hima. It's a pleasure to welcome the First Lady of the Republic, His Excellency, His Excellency Rebecca Akufu Ado. With that, I'd like to invite Madame Perpetua Asante of the Office of the First Lady to make a short remark. Thank you so much. Nana Joa. And you are ready at night train. Every gun about penny. Her Excellency, Sadia Nikuru Freno, my beautiful Rebecca. What's it? Nana Himai. Now, what do you have done? What about her? Or no question, I am check. Now, some stuff I have done. Welcome out of the floor. And the gun of men, you know, about penny. And no one won't fair. Rebecca will woo Israel, Isaac. And what they know, I know who Yakobo. What about her? Nagan and Yanati. Now, quite do. I tell my role in Selma Shasso. What shall I say? Now, I am an abroso. What about a sea as a pity? What about a sea libraries? What about a son money, mamma, who are my nipa, Edia to rent them, Edia, the church and one church and then I come at home with him. Nana Padway, Excellency the First Lady, Oninira, Nana Duda Koku Fado, and the era of Dr. Mohammed Baumia, and the Mara Samira, almost in the country, I said, Isaiah 40 31, but then that which upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Nana Yamare, Nana Gana Bap, and the same country, I said, First Tetron, one, two. I saw the for me, you pay it. Sadian, I was so ye. Now I shall swam a hymn for 
I said to myself, a young person of our time, now on him, I mean, back, Betty. Nana, your wise counsel and active role has also paved the way for the second phase of Kumasi Central Market to go on. Indeed, Nana is a great example to Queen Mothers and women everywhere that we are the glue or mortar that holds it all together. Congratulations, Nana, and I wish you many more years of an impact-filled reign. The theme of today's celebration is a recognition that our Queen Mothers have a role to play in contemporary times. As many Queen Mothers have shown, their relevance today is unquestionable. Queen Mothers have been involved in educating and providing skills training, even IT training for women and girls in their communities. As modern Queen Mothers, they understand that we must close the gender gap and ensure women attain their full potential to contribute to national development. Among other things, Queen Mothers have also ensured improved health outcomes for their communities by facilitating access to health, water and sanitation for their people. It is therefore important that we all provide both moral and material support to our Queen Mothers so they continue to positively impact our communities. I end my brief remarks by praying for God's blessings on Nana Konedu Yad of the Third, Nanano and the Asante Kingdom. I thank you. Thank you so much. Evo Rebecca, First Lady of the Republic of Ghana. Thank you so much. Our next guest is not just an ordinary guest. She is a guest of honor. And history again was made when she Let's say, Ama, Nana, Nebu, 
was our gift. We are fortunate to be part of this remembrance of Nana Ifiakobi Sewa Ampen II and for the celebration of Nana Kodedu Yadon III. I also bring you a congratulatory message from the, the President Nana Dodankwa Akufuadu, who would have been here himself, but for and other national assignments, he is out of the country. We are here not only to tell and to show how much we cherish you as a person, but also for the fulfillment of your traditional role as the Queen Mother in your support role as Ohima of the Manchia Palace. Some continue to ask, what is the role of the Queen Mother? We know that the Queen Mother is responsible for nominating or designating the next king if and when a new one is needed, king or chief. It is this vetting and nominating authority that the Queen Mother's power resides, and this role has not changed. In addition, you are also known to provide counsel for the chief and elders, and these are powerful traditional roles. Always quiet in the background, many would agree with me that we owe so much of the stability of, chieftain, of the chieftaincy system, especially in the Ashanti Kingdom, because of the wise choices made in the selection of chiefs led by our Queen Mothers. There are other roles that our Queen Mothers play that are never in the limelight. You are the ones who can rally women together. You settle disputes and also keep an eye on social conditions within society. In modern Ghana, the role of the Queen Mother has even expanded although many of us do not realize it. And social media is also helping expand that role. According to the recent population census, women represent 51% of the population. Children under 15 years, almost 37% of the population. And we see that women and children therefore constitute some 68% of the population. The issues that concern this majority of the population should be a matter of concern to all of us. Why is it that women constitute 51% of the population but are the most land poor? They are the most excluded in the financial sector. The poverty of women begins from lack of education. They carry the burdens of early marriages and teenage pregnancies. The establishment of the Department of Social Welfare and Housing and later Department of Social Welfare, when just not given an important segment of, work, of, segment of society the attention it needed. The establishment of the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection was an important step in recognizing the social issues of women and the youth, and, and they cannot therefore be left alone. Population growth and urbanization were making these issues more and more challenging. Where possible, it would be up to the new ministry and its agencies to find out how they can work with our traditional systems to help tackle these social protection challenges that affect most women and children. Our Queen Mothers, as custodians of our cultural traditions, also have other modernizing roles to play, especially in the areas of tourism, girl-child education, marriage literacy, and poverty among the girl child. In the pursuit of sus the Sustainable Development Goals, I can see our Queen Mothers as agents 
in promoting the goals of ending poverty in all its forms amongst women and children, tackling hunger among school children, maintaining good health and promoting well-being, promoting gender equality and quality education, particularly among girls. Nanahima, we are most grateful for the work you are doing, bringing Queen Mothers to